Hi everybody, Billy here at Rambling Rose Studio. Hope you're having a great weekend. We've had some bad weather here this weekend, which made it perfect for stamping as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but today we have beautiful sunshine, so I'm going to try to do a quick video for the people who contacted me and wanted directions on the little treat holders that I posted earlier this week. And so I thought I would just do a quick video and show you that. So just want to say hi. Hope you're having a good weekend. And I'm going to flip you down now so to the tabletop. Just wanted to say hello. Okay. Can you see them there? Let's pull them up just a little. There you go. <clears throat> so these are the little treats. Um, they have the little cellophane bot, uh, bags inside with candy in them. And uh, so I'm going to just show you real quickly how I made those. So you might be able to do that for your Valentine. So I'm going to move those out of the way. And I'm going to I'm going to show you this is the stamp set that we used. It's called Blooming Love. And I used it, um, this little stamp here and several of the Be Mine, Love You, whatever. It's really a cute set. And then I've used the Love Blossoms DSP stack. And I've got to order more of this. It just is so pretty for so many different things. So this is what I'm using. Let me pick one out of there so we can Let's just, that one's already cut up. Let's just use this one. Okay, so this is six by six. And I guess you can make these little treat containers any size you want. But I'm going to bring the big shot in here. And I've used this framelit right here. I, it's retired. It's in the square framelits that Stampin' Up! used to have. And then... Um, it's retired. If you don't have this, you could always cut you a 5x5 five five square. Um, and then you could make a border on one or both ends if you wanted to. But I'm just going to run this through real quick. And that's the basis of the whole thing. And then I'll get this out of the way. our piece. Um, so this is what we're left with. So from here you're going to need to score and you need to decide which side you want out. I'm going to leave the pink side out on this one. So I'm going to score, I hope you can see that, at one inch this way. And then I'm going to turn it and score it at one inch and three inches. And that's it. Those are the, all the scores there. <clears throat> this is all on my blog if you don't want to. So I'm going to fold this down this way. That's the one inch score all by itself. And then flip it over and do it that way this way and I've used tear tape on this to just to hold it together but you could probably use just plain adhesive it just overlaps each other a little bit okay so there's that and that's really the container right there um, I staple the end of it with the um, long neck stapler just to hold that see so it opens up like that and then you um here's the little cello bags and after i put the stuff in it i just folded them and stuck that down in there and then tied it with a linen thread right here and um you can use any ribbon that you have. And I think on one of this even, you can see I've got half of a doily on this one. But anyway, you can use this. This is 5 8 inch red, real red satin ribbon that I'm using here.
right? And then um, trim your edges, of course. You don't want all that sticking out there like that. And then for the uh, tag that I put on there, I stamped with the little this right here, and I think I've got Love You on this now. Um, and I colored the stamp before I stamped it with my marker. Just everywhere it's green supposed to be green. I'm using garden green here but <clears throat> because that's the green that that is suggested with this paper. Um, and then the rest of it red for the little flowers. Just like that. I think that one's supposed to be red. And then the sentiment I colored in black. Yeah it says love you. I really didn't know which one I had on there. <clears throat> and stamp that. And then I use the decorative labels punch. And punch that out. And then I punched out a real red one. So I could layer them up. I'm in the frame there. I can't really see it. Yep, maybe. Then I punched a hole. Um, I just used the wrong thing there. These are the long necked hole punches that Stampin' Up had. Right? And a little bit of linen thread. Through the hole, hopefully, and through here, tie a little bow or not, or whatever you can. I don't know if I have enough here for a bow, maybe. And, um, <clears throat> and then just stuff it with your candy kisses, just like that. So, that's all there is to it. I think you can make these. These would be really cute for a bridal shower or a baby shower. Or <clears throat> I know a lot of people give bird seed at wedding receptions and stuff. This would really be cute to hold one of those. But anyway, there's the little container that I promised, and I hope that helps some of you who were asking questions and um, stay tuned later this week I'm going to have a video on the little pals the little animal pals um, I've just had so many questions that people wanted to know how I made those so I'm probably going to have a video on that later this week so stay tuned for that thanks for stopping by today and I hope you have a really good rest of the weekend